60 million chemical compounds recorded in databases and for the vast majority of them no biological or pharmacological activity is yet known. Using computational methods we can detect quick and efficiently such activity or even we can design new molecules with the desired activity. Although there are different ways to achieve that, our group has applied for 30 years QSAR, what means quantitative structure activity relationships, based on molecular topology. What is molecular topology? Well, we must first define topology. In the sense in which we use here, topology can be defined as the analysis of the positions and interconnections between elements of a set. The part of mathematics dealing with that is graph theory. A graph is a set of points called vertices connected by segments called edges. Molecules, particularly the organic ones, can be represented as graphs. In the figure, we have the corresponding graph for isopentane. Once we have the graph, we can represent it by a matrix called topological matrix, which is obtained as follows. First, Label with an ordinal number each of the graph vertices as we see. Then the matrix is constructed so that any entry A, I, J has the value 1 if there is an edge or link between the vertices I and J, otherwise it is 0. Mathematically manipulating the matrix, we get topological indexes which are also called graph invariant since their value must not change for isomorphic graphs. Once we have calculated the topological indexes, we can establish regression equations between any experimental property of a set of molecules and their topological indexes in the form of QSAR equation. From this equation, if we calculate the value of X1, X2 for a new drug, we can predict the actual value of the property or, working in a reverse way, carry out a design of novel drugs with the desired properties. This can be generalized to design new drugs seeded with improved dosage, side effects, low toxicity, better absorption, etc. It is actually a tailor-made design as long as you choose the appropriate topological indexes. Choosing the appropriate topological indexes is very important. The key advantage of the topological approach is that it deals with a pure mathematical description of molecular structure so that we can go directly from the structure to the experimental properties and vice versa what opens a fantastic opportunity to discover new drugs. The results obtained so far by our group can be summarized in articles, papers and patents on new drugs, new kits or leads in anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti-neoplastic, anti-Alzheimer, anti-malarial, etc.